hey y'all, check this out. And with a click, yeah, I finally invested, oh, well, I guess if I hold the camera directly in front of it, it kind of covers it. But I invested in a ring light, finally. Right on top of my monitor. What's up? What's up? New kind of videos, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully this helps. I can change a, I can change a brightness. Or wait, that's the color. Orange, white, blue. I like orange. Uh, I can change your brightness. It gets pretty fucking bright. Like that's the brightest it goes. Real bright. I don't like it that bright. I like it like a nice lamp color. Or brightness. Like right here, right there is fine. Anyway, today is very special because. Madhausen is gonna try Danhausen's uh, coffee Hausen from Rootless Coffee. I was trying to do the accent a little better. I still can't really do it that well. I'm gonna go, hey, this is Madhausen with Co you're watching Cozy Butthausen. Um, if you know nothing about Danhausen, this is gonna be weird. He's a professional wrestler. He's a very nice, very evil. Works for Ring of Honor, um, and he has one of the best Twitter accounts I've ever followed, bar none. Except for maybe Hurricane Helms and Dave Batista, as far as wrestlers go. Anyway, go look at the package and go put it in and shit. So this is it, the Danhausen Coffeehausen. You can see, very nice, very evil. Very nice, very evil. Danhausen only talks in the third person, but Madhausen won't. Um, it's from Rootless Coffee. This is a... This is a coffee company I've been seeing ads for on Facebook because ever since I started doing Cozy Bud, <laughs> that's all my Facebook ads are anymore, or random coffee companies. But then this one, with Danhausen on it, came across my feed. I was like, I gotta get that. Um, on the back, taste, nutty, dark chocolate, dried fruit, almond, and cherry. Comes from Brazil, natural process, elevation of 1100 MS, MASL, I don't know what that means. Roasted in Flint, Michigan, and let's crack it open. I don't like these pull tabs. This is another one of those like resealable coffee bags. It's the only thing I don't like about a lot of the coffees that I get. They're in these resealable bags. Oh. Do I, pull? oh, pull tab. There's two different pull tabs. That's interesting. There's one for the back that had some coffee stuck in it do I pull the one in the front no okay that's weird you open the coffee in the back interesting oh yeah oh yeah that smells like some Nutty, dark chocolatey coffee. Let's go ahead and scoop it in. A win. I do two, I do three spoonfuls and I'm just using like, you know, regular old spoon. Table tea, I'm never quite sure. But I usually just do about three in there. And then it's set up to hit the brew. So uh, we'll come back when it's done. So as I stated, Danhausen is a Ring of Honor wrestler. Um, admittedly, I have not seen a full match of his, to be quite honest. But I discovered his Twitter account about a year ago at this point. Gave him a follow. His tweets, the videos he posts, the pictures he posts, the memes he posts are all fucking primo. And I highly recommend following him on, on a Twitter. Um, I have seen match highlights, and they're all very good. He's been all over the independent scene, recently got a contract with Ring of Honor, hoping that Dave Honor one day gives him a blimp and a million dollars. One day, I hope to see Dan Housen on All Elite Wrestling Dynamite, uh, or Dark, or Dark Elevation. Any of their shows, maybe the new Rampage that's coming up later in the fall. Hopefully we get to see him more places. He's funny. He's just, he's a great wrestler. Again, from the highlights I've seen, very, very good. He's in a tag team with Effie called the Gay Tanic Panic. That's hilarious and I love it. 
Um, he was in a tag team with Orange Cassidy. I think it was just called Orangehausen. And then he was in a tag team with the other independent wrestler, Warhorse, that was called Warhausen. Just watch, just go, dude, you have YouTube. Just look up fucking Danhausen highlights clips. They're all great, <laughs> I promise you. Look, I know Danhausen is more of a Simpsons guy. However, I don't have a Simpsons mug. I got a Rick and Morty mug. I, I bought this at a convention three years ago. What do you want from me, all right? So, get a good old, good old pour. Got some drippage off the side there. That's always fine. All right. So, as you know, wait, I should probably get a different spoon for tasting because I'm going to use this for sugar. <laughs> so as we know, we always try the coffees black first before we put cream and sugar in it. So, let's give it a nice little taste. I'm getting some drippage off the spoon. I mean, that's that's bitter. As y'all know, I don't prefer my coffee black. That's a I don't really taste a whole lot of. Someone said if I like slurp it, I'll get the taste more. I'm get definitely getting more of the nuttiness than anything else. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some cream and sugar in this and see what that brings out. All right. Cream and sugar stirred in. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that definitely brought out the cherry. Very subtle, really like it. Definitely brought out the cherry and the dark chocolate a lot more. So I'm gonna say if you drink this black, you're gonna get more of the nutty and the almondy taste. But uh, if you put some sugar and creamer in it, you're gonna get the cherry. You are gonna get the dark chocolate. I don't know what dried fruit constitutes, but it's pretty damn good. That's that's very good. This is a really good copy. Highly recommend buying. I'll put a link in the description. So that is all for this cozy butt on Dan Housen Coffee Housen. Make sure you subscribe Housen and uh, click the bell Housen so you get notified when I upload new videos. I don't have I don't have a good sign off. Get Danhausen a million dollars and his friggin' blimp, Dave Honor.